So you talk about in the book also the night that gay marriage passed. And this is uh, a great story. Yeah. Um, it, the, one of the interesting things, I, I bring it up to talk about just how uh, vastly different one day could be uh, in, in the White House during our administration. And the day that Barack and I went to the funeral um, where he, you know, uh, famously sang Amazing Grace, we were at that funeral. But we flew back, and that same day, uh, marriage equality was passed. And <laughs> that same day. And we're in the White House, and when you're in the residence, there's so much bulletproof glass that sometimes you don't hear what's going on outside. And we were having dinner, and we were, you know, listen. We knew that there was celebration happening, but it, we didn't realize that people, thousands of people, were gathering in front of uh, the White House at that time to celebrate. And my staff was calling me, and everybody was celebrating, and people were crying. And I thought, I want, I want to be in that, you know. Also, we had uh, worked to make sure that the White House was lit up in the. Uh, LGBT colors. So the lighthouse was... It was so cool beautiful. It was, it was beautiful. So we had made that plan, and I was sitting and watching it on TV and realizing I'm living this. I said, I have to break out of this. I want to go outside, and I want to be a part of that celebration. So I had the bright idea, I'm going outside, okay? <laughs> so I tried to find some partners. So I went to Barack's office, and I said, we should go outside. And he was like, babe, I've got too much stuff to do. I can't go out. And he's like, you know I can't walk outside. Come on, laugh, get out of my office. <laughs> yeah, I go to Malia. I said, you want... I go to Sasha. I said, you want to come outside with me and see the house? It's colors. Let's celebrate. And she's like, no, I'm watching... <laughs> um, I went to Malia's room, and I said, come on, go with me. And she says, OK, I'm down. So it's me and Malia. And we're trying to get out of the White House <laughs> and realize that it's not that easy to get out of the White House when you're in it. But we were determined, and I said, we are not listening to anyone. We are going to walk out that door, you and me. So you come out of the residence, and there's an elevator. And there's usually an agent right there. And when you come out, they whisper, you know, our code names, they're moving. And I'm like, dig, they know we're moving. It's like, let's not take the elevator. Come on, you and me, go down the stairs. So we rush down the stairs. And you can see the agent thinking, why are they running? <laughs> And he doesn't quite know what to do, so he starts following us. And I'm like, run faster, run faster. And we go down the steps. And we go to the front door, the north portico do door, which faces Pennsylvania Avenue. And I, I'm just thinking, I'm going to walk out. So we go to the door, and the door is locked. So now there are many people behind us, the uniform policeman, the usher who's in charge of the house. And they don't know what to do, right? And they're like, uh, ma'am, where are you going? I say, I'm going out. I'm going. I'm, we're going out. We're going outside. <laughs> and they're watching because... And they're calling in more people. She's trying to get out. She's trying to get out. <laughs> and Malia's like, she's pumped up. She's like, we're going to do this, mom. You get out. You get out. But the door is locked. And then the usher says, ma'am, um, if you walk out there, you will be on camera in front of the nation. Now, I'm in ripped-up shorts and, you know, a T-shirt, no shoes on, no makeup. And I thought, hmm, you have a point. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to be on that clip looking like this. But eventually, the happy news was that we got out. We, Malia and I walked outside. It took 15 minutes <laughs> to get outside. And we stood along with all the cheering crowd, off to the side, mind you, <laughs> So no one would see us with security surrounding us, and we tried to have our tender mother-daughter moment. But we just took it in. I held her tight, and my feeling was, see where this... Is. We are moving forward. You know, change yeah. is happening. That's beautiful. So. That's so good. <laughs>